Hi everybody, it's Jen with two N's, and I'm here with Jay Berger. How's hey, it going? Hey. Hi Jen with two N's, what's <laughs> good girl? I'm good. So I think I want to start out by just basically establishing that we're the last of a dying breed in the sense that we actually were born and raised in New York. That's right. I feel like Ow. there's like 10 of us left. We're an endangered species at this point. Mm -hmm. So how does that influence you and your perception of like New York and New York style? Right. Being born and raised in Queens. What up, Queens? What part? Hey. Cambria Heights, St. Albans. Oh, that's deep. Yeah, oh, so man. it's like not Jamaica, but. That's bus country. Yeah, you gotta take the <laughs> bus, and I did it for years, but I got tired of that, so that's really when I moved to Brooklyn. Okay. So it's like, I just feel like I'm New York, right? Team Brooklyn. Brooklyn, and um, I worked in the Lower East Side, so I, you could literally catch me like. Hopping around anywhere yeah. in New York. But it's losing, like, because, you know, I worked at Patricia Field. Oh, and good. She's a legend. Right. Legendary. Shout out to Patricia Field and Shout House out. of Field. But, um, yeah, that was, like, my family there. So it's, like, and it was crazy. It was there. People would stumble in. People who would never even want to be in a store like that sometimes would just stumble in and be like, oh, my gosh. It had that life. It could be intimidating it, a little bit. When it, you're not cool and you It was breathing places. that life. It was yeah. on the Bowery, and now the Bowery is not quite that anymore. Now nah. it's just industrial. You got your industrial stuff. Your high-rise condo. Right. It's not the same, but everything's changing everywhere. The store's gone now, so it's like... Back. And the people. And the people going the people to who, so who make those things come to life. They're like, you know, we're moving out. But we're all we're migrating. Not Every a, social media yeah, is changing now. If you are showing your edge and stuff, you gotta show it online now. As much as that sucks too, yeah. but it's like it's the only way to stay. But you're lit online connected. though. It doesn't suck for you. Yeah, but you know, sometimes it's like I'm living life. I'm just being a regular girl and then yeah. it's like, oh, hold up, but I gotta catch this it, for yeah. the Instagram story because I know, like, this it feels go, really unnatural. This is gonna be hitting. It is so unnatural. It does. I gotta I'm say. just now getting somewhat comfortable with doing it more because I see, you know, people do respond. And it's oh, like, yeah. I like we keeping in touch crazy. with everyone and just showing my creativity as best I can. Like, yeah. you know, even if it's just little knickknacks really, here and really there. It's hard work, too. It like, is. I gotta say. But it's it's just fans and friends. I'm the type of person, if I meet you and we talk and we connect, I'll follow you. And I just build like that. I don't unfollow people, even, you know. You don't? I don't. I just stay, I know you. Like, if I don't, I just keep scrolling. That's like, very loyal of you. I know. Shout out to you. Yeah, you know. I met you, cool. We, we, we know each other now. And social media is a way of, like, just. Keeping that bond, staying yeah. connected. It's but beyond silly the bond, as it sounds. It's yeah. a good way to promote my stuff exactly. and support. And people know when I go to other countries, and people I already know people when I get there That's because crazy. I know them from online and my friends and chit chat. And it, it really connects people in a way that mm. I'm like I would never know this person in Taiwan. Right? Like, yeah, but I do. I when know. I get there, we <laughs> linking up. They gonna show me what time it is in Taiwan. Like. Oh so social media really I got friends in Japan you. I'm like dying to go kick it with. That's amazing. Ohio, Japan, Taichung. <laughs> <laughs> so you really, social media has really helped all facets of your life pretty much. Even my start off, like. You're just, one of the good cases. Yeah, yeah. Social it, media actually helped well, you. I started when like Twitter first started booming and things like that. And I just had friends who supported what I decided to put out. Mm -hmm. and. You, people were able to connect with it, like, because, you know, YouTube was starting to jump yeah. to more, like, and they were interested, and I would perform all in the Lower East Side in Brooklyn, the warehouse parties, oh the hole the in the walls, <laughs> yeah, the Katras, so, you know, and they, it turned into a thing, and I had a friend named Lil Friday, shout out to Lil Friday, okay. yeah, he, um, dropped a project at the same time and our projects kind of just shaped that time mm -hmm. frame of like just like being mixy and like being in them hole in the walls yeah just like four locals like waking up like on somebody's like floor I somewhere. feel like as you get bigger as an artist you start to miss those I types miss of it. moments you right? go to a party you hoping them. it's like that and it's just it's missing not. that thing it's not the same because once you get same. too big it's like everything is really prim and proper like mm -hmm. it's not like yeah. it was anymore when you did the whole in the no one's side. wilding out at these parties yeah. like I want to have fun like but a lot of my shows I do have that's when I get to have great times the shows because those people they show up ready to party that's amazing yeah I'm the soundtrack like <laughs> So since we are talking about New York still, mm -hmm. Remy Ma, Nicki Minaj, your thoughts? Well, I have thoughts. I want to hear your I thoughts. I mean, 
It's all petty. I just want everyone to get along, of course. But you know, you know. That's I'm not from. my thoughts. So I'm, I'm super still, petty. I love Nicki. I'm gonna always love Nicki Minaj. Like she's the staple. Like, but Remy's dope too. Like she's real, and I like that realness of her too. So it's like I don't want to pick, but you know. I mean, I'm gonna let the jersey talk, but let you can let the jersey talk. <laughs> I'm gonna say I don't quite feel that way, but we'll keep it to a minimum. But it's like, I don't know. Remember, I keep bringing it up. It's like just let this, <laughs> let each other be. Like y'all both getting money. Y'all both beautiful black females. They like, are. No, they definitely breaking are. the industry. Like it's just it's on both ends. It's sad. That yeah, they both like have let to it go. Like, like, like y'all pop. Y'all yeah. want to be friends, really, probably. Like, but I feel you know like in, that, in music, that we keep beefing. It's like yeah. I like, just want to be a hunger, really actually. Me, exactly. Mm. That would be so cute if that's yeah. what they ended up doing. They became BFFs that would be after. That really cute in the end. Like, surprise, you were Racing cars. <laughs> so, I was going to say, I feel like it's kind of a... I feel like it's a good time for music for women, but at the same time, I think that this beef has kind of made me also realize, like, wow, we have still so much further to go before mm -hmm. more than one woman can be, like, we're the crowd, you yeah. know? Yeah. <sighs> I, of course, you want to say there's room for everyone, but I just... There is. I feel, I feel like there is. I can't focus on it too much, because if I would focus on that, I would have stopped, like, a long time ago. Yeah. I just... I've been compared and ideas taken and things done off of me that is just, like, I got to stay focused and keep just being fly in my yeah. own... Staying in my own lane, just keep paving my own way. So it's like... I know what's going on and I see it and I pay attention, but it's like at the same time, I just put my blinders on and get this work done. Nah, you know? that's exactly how you should be. That's Keep exactly the stunt how going. I, hey, <laughs> I agree. So how does being in New York and from New York influence like your style and your music and pretty much everything? Like I said, like, you know, I was hopping around doing my fashion thing and my music thing all at the same time. So it just molded me and that's just who I am. Like I went to high school in Queens so well, what's cool? Van Buren. Okay. <laughs> on Hillside. So it's like, I'm just it's a nice Queens girl. Like, I'm just a yeah, real Queens yeah. girl. Like, I, I got a bunch of sneakers still from there. I'm like, half sneaker heads, half, yeah. half like glamour girl. Like, just like Queens squad girl. Did you spend time on the Ave? Always. So I got jumped on the Ave, girl. Like, no. I, mm, ninth grade. Oh my God. Why oh, y'all did that to me? They was hating. It's not right. Oh my God. Oh. But yeah, so the Ave, yeah. I still gotta go on the Ave from time to time and get like my ghetto girl shopping in. Which is like, what? Yeah, like just go there with like $60 and just like ah. go in any store I see that look like they got shit in there. Like, oh, they got fanny packs? Like, oh, nah. We gotta, we gotta stop in here, y'all. Can we go in here? I'd be like, I just need a second to peruse. Is the Ave still the same Ave or has it changed right. too? It, it is changing, but it's still got wow. those little dusty stores that I need to go up They're in. They're never going to go away. <laughs> yeah, there's going to always be those. There's some in Brooklyn, too, I need to visit. With fanny packs? There's, like, little <laughs> dusty, like, beauty supply stores and stuff. Like, I just, I always find the best trinkets and goodies in there. Okay, so, speaking of goodies, soft serve. Oh, well, that was a joke. <laughs> Soft Serve. It is my next project, and I'm so excited about it. Tell me all about it. <sighs> so I just feel like I'm getting back to, you know, that girl I was when I started having fun, not really overthinking it, and just, like, getting back to fun beats, like, and just talking my shit. Like, I just feel like I'm in my bag now, you know? Yeah. So, I I can do this. I can say this. This is it. But like, where did, how did you get up, ready. to the title? I'm curious. Because it's, it's interesting. Right. Well, it's it's very very summery. It's very now. It's dropping the end of August. So okay. still catch that summer vibe. It has just fun, like, candy beats, but, like, still with, like, some bars for that ass, you know? <laughs> so it's a combo. But that's always been me, kind of, like, sweet and sour, like. Yeah, little yeah, edgy, yeah. hardcore, yeah, yeah, yeah. but like the beat, like you We're still cute. like. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll beat your ass. Right. But I'm but, a little cute. Right. <laughs> I beat you with this lollipop. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's just like, yeah. It's just me. It's cute. It's yummy. Like, you can, like, vibe out with your girls while you're getting ready. You know. So you're saying you're in your bag. So I'm going to interpret that as this is, like, another evolution for you with this project. Right. Would it's, I be right to say that? Yeah. Okay. Each project is a different stage, you know? Uh, now I'm just not overthinking it as much, and I'm just ready to like show everybody who I am. And I, it's so good when you get there mentally, right? Right? It's you know, so and good. people are anxious to hear it, so it's like I gotta like 
I aim to please always. That's the goal. So do you feel like that influence you when you're picking out like beats and stuff? Like I want everybody to be like this shit yeah. is hot. I want everyone to dance to this. Like I know this shit is hot. I know anybody who hear this cannot deny that this shit is like. Hot. So you're really into like the concept of like universality. Mm -hmm. pretty much. I like it. I like to tell like a little story. Each yeah. song is a little story. That, that's why like, videos are different because you get to like paint that story with videos. Mm -hmm. That's why I love visuals. Can't wait to shoot my video. I'm shooting a video for my next single, Shake and Bake. That's cute. Also serve it's a single, <laughs> Shake and Bake. And it's dope. So it's like I just want to bring these concepts to life and like get back, you know, get my visuals back on like fleek. How hard do you think it is to find other people who go along with the vision? Uh, over time, it took a long time. Good help is hard to find. That's my personal experience. I've had great, I have great help. I've had some great help along the way. I've had some not so great help along the way. Like, I've heard no a bunch of times. I've yeah. heard change this. You should yeah. try this. And it's like, I'll do only but so much changing. So anybody who's trying to change too much, I kind of like, got to keep me it anymore. moving. Right. Yeah, it's not day. So I like to keep people around me who they do see the vision. And I've, I've come, I have some good people around me for sure. That's great. So we're working and we put together this new package. But you need thick skin though to do what you do. You do. And I won't lie, my skin is medium. <laughs> but I just take it with a grain of salt. You know, I am who I am. I can't change that. Yeah. I could change my hair. I could change my well, why would uh, you? Why should you? aesthetic for the month. I could change my shoe game up a little bit. It's like but I can't change that. It was not going to change me. Yeah. I, this is it. Mm -hmm. So as far as strong women in your life and the topic of feminism, mm -hmm. what does feminism mean to Bay Burger? Uh, just standing in your womanhood. Just respecting your body as best as you can and as you know how or as you've been taught or not made yourself knowledgeable just do that and live righteous and just be as wholesome as you can without compromising the people around you right? yeah. you know that sounds good to me. I feel like feminism for me just is just about be it do yeah, it having it, the it, right it, to it be is what it is whatever kind of woman you feel is best whatever suits you ma yeah whatever suits you sis because I feel like I feel like people have these really rigid views of what a feminist looks like, sounds yeah, like. Yeah, if you a woman or in support of women, you are a feminist of sorts. And it doesn't have to be extreme. You yeah. don't have to be like shouting it at my woman. Right. I mean, unless you want to, by all means, yell it out. But uh, it's how you want to word it or do it or show it. It's, it's all up to you. I agree. It's all yeah. up to you. So I forgot. Oh, my God. Tell me okay. about Wave. Oh, Wave. Shout out to Wave. Shout out to Wave. It's my new family. Um, it's an app, and it's really cool. By signing up, you get to see insight like behind concerts or mm -hmm. like different things from some upcoming artists and some big names. So, you know, I'm one of the up-and-coming, and I have my own channel on there. Oh, so sick. I'll be able to exclusively premiere some videos there and I'll be having my own TV show on my channel so wait talk to me about that um, it's in the works I can't say too much but <laughs> I'm pretty mind. much gonna <laughs> use the channel to just bring you like everything that like people are wanting so download the wave app and make sure you know you're ready because it's about to storm like the wave do you feel like wave is gonna give your fan base another level of access oh, they yeah. didn't have? It's gonna let you all up in this, so. <laughs> all up in the burger. You definitely feel like your whole social media presence definitely helped that come together. Um, I, I wanna give more. I feel like even though I have a presence, it's maybe more aesthetically, but mm -hmm. I want people to see me more now, like for who I am and what I'm actually talking about. And see, I'm just, that girl from Queens talking some that shit and making work. it work like, mm -hmm. to another level, making it work for me. That's crazy. Kicking down my own doors. All right, well, download Wave, y'all. Wow. Download Wave. <laughs> I'm all up on it. So I heard you just did Seattle Pride. I did. How was Seattle that? Seattle Pride. It was so dope. It was almost like a festival. Like, had, I performed on two of the three stages out there. It was one of the headliners. That's sick. I know. It was so dope. And it was just beautiful. Beautiful people. Beautiful crowd. Beautiful day. The weather was amazing. And it was dope. I looked real cute. It was dope. <laughs> I had my dancer with me. We killed it. I've done a lot of Prides, though. I've done Austin, Texas, San Francisco. So, kind of like the Pride Princess. So, so then, 
my question to you is what's your relationship with the LGBT community since you're such a mainstay at this point? You know, I, in my music, I just, I say what I want and, you know, I do my own thing. I don't have to confine to any label to be specific, but it's just like, I do what I want with who I want and that's just how that's it's going it. to be, right? Yeah, so, and I talk my shit. So, you know, some people find that relatable and some of my biggest fans are LGBTQ. Right. And that's, you know, that's just the life I came up in. I've always been open to anyone. I've never discriminated anything or anyone, so... Who, you know, that's dope, like, and they support me the most. Yeah. And I'm glad to pull up at anybody's pride and just, you know, represent, support, and they always show support, and I will always do the same, you know? I so. also feel like it's a really good time for LGBTQ music. Yeah, people are a little more open and receptive. Yeah. And it's like, you know, it, it, it just comes with the territory sometimes. There's so many different people in the world, and you can't, Tell some to be quiet and for others to speak up. You're going to hear from everyone. So you're going to hear from me, and that's just it. <laughs> so what kind of music are you into these days? Myself? I, I'm stuck in the past, so. What's the past? I'm still listening to my Tony Braxton, my Tony. Faith Evans. I just, TLC, SWV, any 90s playlist, Brandy, Monica, like. So being that, even though I feel like it's a good time for women in music, it's still a really male-dominated industry. So how do you make sure that in a sea of men, Jay Burger gets heard? Right. I mean, I'm just screaming it loud and proud. like, And it's being received by certain underground levels still. So it's like, I don't know. I'm just waiting to be heard. Like, I feel like it's kind of a fun pop. So it's like, it's general. But I still give you just a little hardcore things that remind you, like, I'm from Queens. And yeah. Like, niggas could still relate. Like, so like do you... oh, shorty might got some bars. So it's not a competition. It's just right. moving forward and getting it out there. Do you find that you have to work twice as hard because you're a girl? Or? I just feel like I'm working twice as hard in general. So I don't True. know if it's because of that. But I just, you know, I'm doing double time no matter who's hearing it. But they're going to hear it. So what advice do you have for anybody who's the day burger that you were when you were 16? Like, what would you say to a girl like that who's trying to be where you are today? Hmm, that's a good one. I would tell her, keep it up, my like, because I was always, like, on my own wave. Mm -hmm. I did what I wanted to. I never really conformed fashion-wise or, like, expectation-wise. So I would just tell her, like, you know, just do that and keep, keep in it. And that's still what I tell myself even now. So it, nothing's changed. Yeah. I'm just trying to be the best me and elevate and work hard and inspire people along the way. You can't stop making yourself And make yourself some up. major yeah. moves and like, you know, travel the world like I've been doing. I'm so blessed to do that and I'm just thankful. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage though to do what you do. So. And I'm not gonna just give up so easy. Yeah. So I'm working at it and I'm working for it. And I'm ready for it, so. And I think it's ready for you. I feel and like I your think, time is I now. I think it's ready. Yeah. Think, I think this is the time. This is the moment I'm we've excited. all been waiting for. Like, and everyone kind of knows it too. It's like, yo, Dayberg, like she hot, like she coming, and people really think like, you know, there should be something so much more going for me, and I think so too. So that's what I've been building towards. And but it's a process. It yeah, you can't build Rome in a day. No. So or a week. Or, yeah, you need a lot of time to go grow, <laughs> two weeks at least. <laughs> but, yeah, so, it's time. I'm glad. Yeah. Thank you so much for Let's talking to me. Thank you, Jim, with two ends. Bye. Give me love. Get to the chicken. I'm too busy getting to the chicken. I'm the template, the blueprint is written. Wait until the honey kicking. Yeah.